an episode about 10 hours in the making. Happy Thursday, everyone, and welcome to Thungry Thursday. Today, I'm trying this, the Kansas-made cinnamon twist breakfast or dessert dish. So like I said in the beginning, and as you will see up here, this thing takes about 10 hours to get ready. You have to take it out of the freezer, let it sit out at room temperature for 10 to 12 hours, they suggest, or until it doubles in size. Anyways, I've done all that. I followed all of those instructions. It's cooked, it's baked, it's all set to eat. It's right here. It's just waiting for me to stop talking. I'm gonna try this, take a bite inside of this, see how it tastes. A couple weeks back, my dad actually got these from a guy that he worked with's daughter who was selling these for a school fundraiser. The other one that we got was an apple twist, the same exact thing like this, but instead of cinnamon, there was apple in it, and I'm not lying to you guys, this was probably the best thing that ever came out of the freezer in my entire life. This pastry was so good, I figured I would make the second one and share it with you. Here we go, picking it up, I got a nice end section here, nice and gooey, icingy. Take the first bite. A lot of chewing. All right, so this is my review on it. As you notice, I took three bites. The reason I didn't review it after one bite is because if I went off that, I would have only had the corner section. The second bite was another corner section before I actually got to some of the filling. So I think using the apple braid that I had from here on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being something that's completely disgusting and 10 being that amazing apple braid twist, I would have to give this a 9. Overall, it's very, very flaky. Overall, it has a lot of cinnamon flavor in it. It is a very, very good dish, and especially because of the fact that it's warm right now. Really gets me thinking about the time that there was a Cinnabon at the Hoyok Mall that I used to go there all the time with my mom and get cinnamon buns, but this is the next best thing, and the fact that I don't have to leave the comforts of my house in order to get this is pretty good. Just have to put it in the oven and wait about 10 hours. Okay. 9.5, because this is pretty freaking good. All right, guys, I'm going to finish this. I have to go head out to work. You guys enjoy the rest of your Thursday. If you like this episode, hit the thumbs up button. If you ever tried any of these Kansas-made frozen pastries, let me know by commenting down below. Oh, so good. So good. I'll see everybody tomorrow for Free For All Friday. Peace. Peace.